I'm Dave. Uh, I'm in the suburb of Minneapolis since George Floyd's death. I don't think Trump has addressed that at all. I heard him say some things yesterday about, uh, uh, you know, a lot of white people die, and, and I don't think he's gotten it yet. We've had the Black Lives Matter um, viewpoint for, for a, a number of years, but this year, I think because of the situation with George Floyd and some of the others, people finally get it. The pandemic uh, related to COVID-19 is interesting because my background is, is biological. And again, I, it just seems like he's played, played whatever argument might help his cause. A, a mask is just, a, to me, a, a, a gentle and a polite way of saying, I get it. I don't want to hurt you and I don't want you to hurt me. Let's be respectful to each, each other. And for the president to not even get that until it's pretty much banged into his head, it just shows his true colors. From my perspective, um, Trump's um, pandering first to the, the evangelicals in, uh, in getting into office and his um, you know, almost bald-faced lying uh, of his perspective of uh, religion and being religious and, and holding up a Bible upside down that he doesn't even know whose Bible it is. It's just ridiculous. But you Christian people out there, myself included, you've you got to see who he is for what he is. And, and to see something like that and, and not see right through it and see it as a, a bald-faced lie and, and it's pathetic that uh, this guy is trying to uh, pander to your vote because he knows uh, the religious uh, right uh, is an effective block for him. Uh, again, I think it's just a ridiculous, pathetic thing to, to see in a politician. Trump is not a respectful leader. He's not an effective leader. Uh, I think Biden can bring that. I mean, Biden, we all know, is a, a, a ethical person, a, a trustworthy person, somebody who speaks from his heart and sometimes can have gaffes because he, he speaks uh, freely. I do the same thing. I think it's um, adm admirable that somebody that's 78 years old would want to take this step. I think he, he's doing it for the right reasons. And uh, again, I think he'll bring leadership back to the uh, position of the president.